Sounds if, like if you it. heard the way Steve Kerr talked to the afternoon show, Dibs and Grandy yesterday, he said, oh, yeah, I mean, he, we wouldn't, he, Steph's going to L.A. to practice on Friday. He said we wouldn't fly him down there unless we didn't think there was a good chance that he could play yeah. on Saturday. So it looks like the, the Warriors will be without Curry tonight and then with Curry on Saturday. The, the, the one thing, here's the way I'm looking at it. And they still got to win that game if he plays. He, here's the way I look at it. And, and here's what we're reacting to today. This is from yesterday. Steve Kerr. I just feel like, you know, the season is, it, it's long. It really is a marathon. And you're going to have stretches in both directions, uh, you know, during the season. Things either go well or they don't. And I feel really strongly that our team is primed if we can, you know, really stay healthy here down the, down the stretch, get Steph back and stay healthy from there. I, I feel like we can make a, a really good run. And, and you never know what happens. If you do that, you could end up in a good spot and uh, set you up for a good playoff run. So you need a run, which will set you up, put you in a good spot to then make. So I get it, it's just semantics. They need two runs. Oh. They need a run from now till the end of the year to go up into the standings to eight or so. And then they need a play in playoff run. Because if they don't have a, I, I'm, this is where I'm at. The, the idea that the Warriors will finish 10th win two road games, and then make a run, history says that won't happen from a 10th spot. History says it won't happen from a 9th spot. So the first run they need is now, between now and the re- and the, and the end of the regular season, and then they got to start over and, and make another run at that point. Yeah. And I'll tell you this, to me, Stanley, the playoffs have already started for them. Well, that's... You got 18 games yeah. left. If, if you want to make a run, it starts tonight. The reality is, is that this team has not, they, they've had one good run this year. Correct. 14 and four. Their best run was an 18 game stretch. Okay. They have 18 games left. Can they go eight? Can they go 13 and five in the yeah. last 18? Okay. Then what? Then we get into the play in. The, and, and the one thing I'm not like, I just, I don't think we can talk about the playoffs. If if they're playing two road play-in games, we'll have to wait for that. Mm. To, that's the way I look at it. Uh, 888-957-9570. You heard Steve Kerr talking about a run. Uh, we there's, there's some other stuff going on, too, with the team I want to get into. But what does a run mean to you if you're a Golden State Warrior fan? 888-957-9570. Uh, let's start out in uh, in Indiana with Daniel. What's up, Daniel? How you doing, man? How's what's going on? Going well. Yeah. So uh, I I totally get why you would be skeptical of of whether or not they can make those runs and whether or not they can get in the playoffs. It's been really inconsistent. You're talking about flipping a coin every single game, right? And uh, you know, it's like team that they can. With the big dogs, right? 20 points up, but we've also seen that they can blow a 20 point lead. Really boils down to, you know, can this team the playoffs? That's that's one. The number two. Hey, Dan, a call back. Bad connection. Yeah. We, uh, but we, we get the gist. 408 uh, on the other side of the coin. It's not hard to see why they could potentially run it back next year. They run learned what back? Run, I, I'm just reading the text. Yeah. It's not hard to see why they could potentially run it back next year. They learned a lot this year's, th- this year. The rookies and young guys are getting key minutes. They've unlocked Wiggins and Kaminga together. Draymond missed a lot of games, and now Clay is coming off the bench playing well. If they play like they've done the last two months next year, they won't be bottom half of the standings, and they could improve... Uh, they won't be in the bottom half of the standings next year. That's Heva yeah. from Danville. Now, Stani, before you answer, that's one way to look at it. That That is an option. But these are the Golden State Warriors, and Joe Lacob is trying, and Steph Curry are trying to get that fifth championship. Let's just say all that happens is, again, I just ask, is that team good enough to win it all? And what's bothering me and sticking in my craw is the fact that by committee, 
is the Warriors' second best player alongside Steph Curry. And I've, 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 I'm close, Donnie. I'm not closing the book. I think that's ran its course, and I think Joe Lacob and company are there. They need a bona fide number two guy next to Steph Curry in this new Western Conference. When did they lose a number two guy? When Kevin Durant left. Well, they won a title. Well, they went. They won two titles with them. No, but, I mean they won a title after. Oh yeah, Durant. gotcha. Well, that was that was the good Andrew Wiggins. Okay. Now he's lost. Exactly. And I don't know if you looked at Wiggins. If this doesn't improve just on an individual basis from his vantage, his play, how valuable is he going to be? Like, could you even move Wiggins? Who wants to? I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. All the talent in the world, but just nobody knows what's up upstairs. And that's what I'm banking on for, the, and I think Steve Kerr is too, for the run. <laughs> I, I I mean that is just I'm not asking him to grow from six foot to seven foot. I'm just asking him to just to, to, the light come on. PG and E. Ben Franklin. Yeah, I just feel like whenever we talk about Wiggins, it's become so circular. It's like ridiculous. Well, you know what, partner, you're in trouble then. We're in trouble. The teams in, I if know that's they are. what if no, you I know they are. That's what it is. Cause tonight you even said it to us. Wiggins and Kameen, you're you're looking at. They got they gotta carry the load tonight. But if you get the Andrew Wiggins, I won't be okay, shocked so, a good one. Right. Then what do you get Saturday? That that's the problem. Exactly. So you can't win like that. Yeah. Mm. When guys when when Clay plays well one out of two games, and he's been playing better. When Wiggins plays one out of three good games. When Draymond now plays one out of every two good games. And then you, of course, have Steph who plays four out of, four out of five good games. Like, that's not good enough anymore. No doubt about so it. So they're, they're going to ask guys to play their best basketball right now, and half the team is young and half the team is older. It's just you're asking a lot is all, is all I'm saying with, with this team right now. And... It's a 34 and 30 team. So how how what does a run look like? We keep oh they can make a run. They can make a run. I I just well, 14 and 4 was a that looked good. That was a place. run. Yeah. And they're still in 10th place. So I hope people understand how tough it is to move up in the standings even if you are winning games you should win. Uh, real real, real quick, ahead. guys, just yeah. want to update you on a little bit of NFL free agency news oh, yeah. tampering period per Adam Schefter. The 49ers and fullback Kyle Juszczyk have reached an agreement on well. a restructured contract that will free up about $1.75 million against the Niners' salary cap. And this is on top of them, I believe, Evan, let, correct me if I'm wrong, Malik Collins, former Texan. So <laughs> they're adding some, de- some guys to the defense, Donnie. We'll see how it goes. I thought Juszczyk was a lifer here. I was like, maybe they might move on, but they didn't. So your boy's in town. So. Yeah, Kyle's afraid to move on from Juszczyk. It's oh, his God. security blanket. No, it's the, it's a big thing that makes Kyle different from the other coaches. He And the way he utilizes a fullback, he's not going to get rid of a guy he loves. Yeah. I'm interested He'll get to rid see of a guy what he doesn't like, like looks like, man. Uh, 908 with a good point. The number two guy was Wiggins and Jordan Poole. Well, that's off the table. It is. Yeah, no doubt. It and is. I was, Uncle Ludi in the chat. Wiggs averaged 16.5 points in the 2022 playoffs. It wasn't just that, Uncle Looney. It was his defense all too. Also, he was invested mentally. He he he, he was he was he was spry. You could you could look at him and watch. Oh, you know that we need I that mean, tonight. I'm so sick of that. I, I really Luke am. Because Luca's going to go for forty. Why? If if there's a bad Wiggins, well, well, no. Okay, then there should be a Kaminga. What about a Gary Payton the second? Uh, Curry doesn't guard Doncic. It's hard to. But you guys have the personnel apparently. So let's do something against Doncic tonight. Kaminga Wiggins. He, the other thing I was thinking is. I don't think Kurt. What? What's he going to do when Steph Curry comes back into the starting lineup? Like it, a couple things have become clear since Curry has missed the last three games. One is Steve Kerr is committed to having Clay and Chris Paul do whatever they're going to do together. All right. Like for whatever reason, he didn't start Clay Thompson and keep Chris Paul on the bench, or vice versa, when Steph went out. The starting lineup against the San Antonio Spurs on Monday was Chris Paul, Clay Thompson, 
Wiggins, Kaminga, Green. I loved it. Well, okay, yeah. then the young guys are out of the starting lineup. Okay? We had that lineup at the beginning of the year, and they didn't do anything. Remember? Well, Looney, they're still not Looney doing Looney anything, Stoney. They're well, 10 exactly. seed. Exactly. What I'm saying is I'm not convinced that when Steph comes back, Wiggins stays in the starting oh, lineup. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, Wiggins started Monday. He'll probably start tonight because Steph's out. Yep. Question is, when Steph comes back, you'll go with Curry. Do you go with Pajemski and move Clay back to the bench with Chris Paul? Then what do you do with Wiggins slash Moody? Is it Wiggins? You just get Wiggins. Just it's just Wiggins. I mean, Wiggins didn't start Saturday yeah. against San Antonio, but he started Monday against yeah. San Antonio. So, what do you do with Wiggins? And then, if you're going to start coming in Green, then Trace Jackson Davis is coming off the bench. He started on Saturday against San Antonio. So, that's the other thing that needs to get figured out once Steph Curry comes back, and I think he'll lean on Wiggins to start. Is that the best thing to do? And then bring Clay and uh, Chris Paul off the bench.